<laughs> I now give you John Fitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bar is set high now, I can tell you. You can do it. You can do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've heard the cultural part of the event. <laughs> <laughs> I was down at Serpentine one day, swimming up and down, <laughs> but it was cold. It was like February, <laughs> and it was late. I was so late. Phil had come and gone out. <laughs> so when I got back to the change room, it was just me there. <laughs> so I was there making a cup of tea, you know, going through the ginger biscuits, <laughs> seeing, you. seeing what there was to eat. And suddenly, there was this blast of air cold air behind me. So I turned around and I said, shut that door! <laughs> you know, as you do. The thing was, there was this big dude standing. He was six feet nine, <laughs> 350 pounds, and he was dressed all in black. Black coat, black t-shirt, black pants, Black nail polish. <laughs> and one of them black ski masks, you know, like people wear. And I thought, what's this about? So I said to this guy, Is you a member? <laughs> Surprise! 
<laughs> and here's what I was going to say. This is your part. Can I get out? I was going to say, reach for the sky. Reach. Oh, reach for the sky. Don't give me no monkey business. Don't give me no monkey business. Because this is a shooter in my hand. <laughs> So that's pretty much how it went down. <laughs> Me and him, we went next door to the cafe. So now I went up to the counter, you know, all cool, like, you know, he's walking up there. <laughs> and I said, give me one of them swimmer special double bacon sandwiches. <laughs> 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 and give me one of them cappuccinos. <laughs> Give me one of them sausage rolls. <laughs> Give me one of them individual fruit pies, because I'm thinking, you know, the guy might kind of lose interest and all the way, but no, he didn't. Because the next thing I feel, there's this, this pistolero sticking in my back, you know. He says, get on with it. So I says, okay, uh, and I'm a serpentine swimmer. And the lady behind the counter, she says, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> she says, let me see that membership card. So I produce my membership card, and he jumps over the counter, and you know what he says? He says, reach for the sky. He says, reach for the sky. He says, don't try no monkey business. This is a shooter in my hand. Start stuffing this bag behind the till with one of them Norman Jones brown big black hat, trash bags with all that on it. And he says, Be hazy, son. He says, I want you to take one of these Norman Jones black trash bags. I want you to go around all these rich people. I want you to get all their jewelry. <laughs> and, uh, so I was going around, you know, so I was going around there. And I collected, for one lady I get, I get a necklace, a diamond bracelet, and I get a diamond ring, and that was just what her dog had. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got collecting jewellery, and then I look under the table, and what do I see under there? I see Tony Cuthbert. <laughs> and he's kind of crouching down there, you know, he's talking on his mobile phone. <laughs> and I think, oh my god. Because he's going to tip off the cops. And this guy, he's going to think, I did it. So then, I look over at the guy, and sure enough, look over my shoulder, there's Royal Parks Police outside. There's Metropolitan Police outside. There's River Police in their little boat. There's Princess Diana Memorial Fountain security. There's the band of the Royal Household Cavalry on their horses. There's Ian Stoddard with his TV news crew. There's Kevin Murphy with his radio news crew. And I'm thinking, oh my god. But this guy, you know, he's cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. And he says, listen here, son. He says, you can keep the jewelry. So I'm there holding this big bag of jewelry. He says, you just hold on to this for me. And he throws me that pistol arrow. So I'm standing there, I'm holding the pistol arrow, I'm holding this big bag of jewelry, while this cat, he's running out the back door with this big bag of money. So I said, so then the cops start running in. And I said, officer, thank God you're here. But you know what he said? Reach for the sky. He said, reach for the sky. He said, reach for the sky.